Hi, I'm Michelle and this is Thor, our resident Golden Retriever model. Hope you're all doing well during lockdown. Uh, today I want to give you some tips on maintaining your double coat breeds at home. But our motivation here is to not let your dogs get to a point where their mats are insurmountable um, and we have to end up shaving them, especially coming into winter. So I'm going to give you a few techniques today on just maintaining the coat. Um, your double coat breeds um, are your German Shepherds, your Golden Retrievers, your Huskies, even some of your toy breeds that have got thick coats. Um, it's vital to brush them regularly, so I would say every second day, and it's quite a therapeutic process, so you and the kids can get involved, and um, yeah, it just basically um, contributes towards them having a good, healthy coat. So basically this is the technique I'm going to show you. If you follow this, you should be A-okay for the time being. So you, you need your slicker brush. This brush is important as it's got the little hooks at the end of the teeth. But if you don't have this, you can just use any, any brush. The mats do form close to the skin. So it's important to press your brush down so that you are putting pressure on the skin, but not too much pressure that you're causing um, a rash. So basically, you, you use your one hand to hold a whole lot of hair in your thick coated areas and then your other hand to brush. And you just brush with short little strokes like this. So make, make sure you are um, touching the, the bottom of that skin or the surface area of the skin. And you use this hand to basically let go of more and more hair and then you eventually end up brushing the whole dog's coat. Um, important to brush under the dog's ears. This is a problematic area. We normally um, have to cut out these mats um, so yeah, you basically brush here, hold the ear, hold the ear away from the brush so that you don't end up um, grazing it. Um, another area um, of contention is under the elbows, under the arms here. So basically you hold the leg, hold the leg forward or back. Don't ever hold it to the side as it can cause it to come out of the socket. Um, and again, your technique where you're just brushing little bits, little bits, little bits, little bits under the arm here, you can see this technique I'm using just to do it one little bit at a time. Do the whole coat, do the tail, the tail is normally quite a big job as well, so you brush out there. And then basically if there are any major mats, you can use some conditioner to rub in a little bit, keep it in for a few minutes and then try brushing that out as well. And then, um, yeah, basically, as I said, you can do this um, every second day with your family, and it's a nice little therapeutic process um, to involve everybody in the family. Um, and then also, washing before um, can cause the mats to tighten even more. So make sure you prep your, prep your dog by brushing them before you wash. I hope that's been helpful. Um, I'm hoping to see a lot of dogs in good condition in three weeks' time. See you then. Bye.